Pixie and welcome to Pixie's Pit. On today's show, I will be recapping tonight's AEW Rampage and we will be trying Hershey's Halloween Shapes. Very spooky and scary. All right, so let's get these open. I love this purple bag that they come in with some sort of fencing like a little graveyard. So let's get these cut open here. All right, it's a hefty bag. All right. Wow. Let's give it a big rip. Wow, they give you a lot of pieces. All right, so I'll show you what we have in here. There seem to be fangs and two types of pumpkins. So it seems like they give you a lot more fangs pretty much than everything else in the bowl. But uh, so here it is for Halloween. There we go. Won't the little ghosts and ghouls and goblins want to get their hands on these? So I'll show you each individual wrapper. Um, this one is the Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkin. So that's orange, that's pretty cool, I like that. And then we have the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Fangs. And then we have uh, the Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkin. I'm wondering if this one's gonna be white chocolate. So I guess we're gonna find out. Let's try this one first, see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, so it is shaped like a little pumpkin and I love that it's orange. Here it is. It's a tiny little thing. All right, let's try this out. Tastes like a regular Reese's. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's chocolate. That's the difference. Chewy peanut butter. I'm pretty sure that that is just straight up peanut butter with no chocolate whatsoever. If there is chocolate, I'm thinking it's probably white chocolate but I'm thinking that's just peanut butter with no chocolate whatsoever. We're gonna compare now. See that one said peanut butter pumpkin and this one says milk chocolate pumpkin. So we're gonna to get to the bottom of this pumpkin mystery on Halloween. Have to use my detective skills. Let's see. Okay, so this is shaped like a pumpkin too more kind of like a peanut or some sort of soccer ball a little deformed there but you know it's halloween we never know what we're gonna get all right so this is brown compared to the other one which was a cool orange so i prefer the look of the other one right off the bat okay That's a classic Reese's. That one's the chocolate and peanut butter combination that we all know and love. Hershey's fangs, here they are. Cookies and cream. Okay, so how are these supposed to go? Let's have a look at the photo. So there's these two longer ones, so okay, this way. There we go. So you can kind of hold it in front of your mouth as well. If you don't have a costume, this is your costume. You just ring people's doorbells. Hello, I'm a vampire. All right. Okay, typical cookies and cream flavor. I remember it very clearly from the 90s. It was a big thing when the cookies and cream bar 
Uh, if you would get that in your lunch at school, you knew you were the cool kid right then and there. Um, I definitely think that it is a really cool concept. I love the fangs. I love the pumpkins. Specifically, the orange one is awesome. Oddly, in this particular mix, I prefer the orange peanut butter pumpkin, not just uh, physically, but also the taste of it than the classic one. I don't know why, it just seems to work better in this particular mix. Um, I do like these. I think kids will love them and adults will love them too. I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10 horns in the air. The show super kicked off with Nick Jackson accompanied by Matt Jackson and Brandon Cutler versus Brian Danielson. Some highlights included a shotgun drop kick from Danielson as well as super kicks, uh, a front trip, and a dragon sleeper. Jackson used a lariat, Daniels used double underhooks, um, butterfly suplex, uh, Juju Katami into a cross arm breaker, hammer locks, and elbow strikes. Danielson suplex Nick and delivered four kicks to the chest. They exchange elbows and forearms. Nick delivers an arm drag. Matt Jackson spears Danielson from outside the ring and punches him in the head. Nick delivers a bulldog. Danielson uh, gets kicked uh, nine times in the chest. And then he spits at Nick and delivers a chop and also kick combinations. Danielson kicks Nick multiple times, delivers a roundhouse to the head for a two count. Danielson delivers a running knee strike. Nick super kicks uh, Danielson twice, delivers a 450, but Danielson had his knees up um, and puts Nick in the lobel lock. Nick gets to the ropes and super kicks Danielson in the head. Nick then delivers a reverse German suplex uh, on the ring apron and an escalera and puts Danielson in the sharpshooter. Nick accidentally kicks Brandon Cutler. Danielson delivers a uh, release German suplex and a tiger suplex, and he uses the cattle mutilation and Nick tapped out. Omega and Adam Cole come out and so do Christian in Jurassic Express. Christian and Matt Jackson face off. Omega tries to leave. Christian delivers a kill switch to Jackson. Jungle Boy has a snare trap on Cole. Omega enters the ring and Danielson puts him in the label lock and Kenny is forced to tap out. The next match is a three-way match. Jade Cargill versus Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero versus Thunder Rosa. I'm paying tribute to Thunder Rosa today with my makeup. Um, Nyla cross chops Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa delivers a back elbow to Nyla. Thunder Rosa does a diving crossbody, but gets caught. Jade and Nyla face off, they exchange forearms. Jade delivers a pump kick to Nyla and a clothesline. Thunder Rosa delivers a missile drop kick to Cargill. Thunder Rosa uh, drives a trash can into Cargill's chest. Spine buster by Jade to Nyla, pump kick from Jade to Thunder Rosa, neck breaker from Nyla to Cargill. Nyla put Cargill in a single leg crab. There's a table set up outside the ring and Thunder Rosa power bombs Nyla through the table. Cargill hits Thunder Rosa with a chair to her back five times and delivers a shot to her abdomen, then another five shots. Jade pins Thunder Rosa for the win. Next, Malachi delivers a promo saying that the black mist will eat Cody alive and seep into Cody's body and that there is a toll that needs to be collected from the Nightmare family. The next match is a hair versus hair match. Orange Cassidy versus Jack Evans accompanied by Matt Hardy who happens to be wielding a scissors. Hardy tries to enter the ring and Jack tries to roll up Orange. Matt pulls Orange out of the ring by his legs and punches him. Evans delivers a corkscrew to Orange outside the ring, a 450 splash. Hardy kicks Orange on the outside of the ring. Orange jumps outside the ring and takes out Hardy and Evans and delivers a crossbody to Evans. Evans kicks Orange in the face and delivers a standing uh, sky twister press. Uh, Northern Lights and Mishinuku Driver are also delivered for a two count. Evans misses a standing sky twister press off the top and Orange DDTs Evans for a two count. The Hardy family office, the butcher, the blade, and the bunny come out. So did Chuck Taylor, Wheeler Yuta, and Chris Statlander. Private Party and Angelico come out. Dark Order build a human wall. Orange delivers a orange punch for the win. Matt Hardy is irate on the ramp. Hardy motions to the Hardy family office to retreat, leaving Jack Evans to get his hair cut and his head shaved. 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite match from last night was. Please like and subscribe because we're trying to build a cool community. And until next time, goodbye and good night.